This is the story of Elizabeth's experience in Sandwell. Unfortunately, we have little information that we can share about Elizabeth, the person, who she is and what she enjoyed doing because there is little known about her. In 2021, she was 32 years old. She lived at home with her parents and was described as having a learning disability, although this had not been formally diagnosed and she did not receive any formal care services. We would like you to understand her experience and have the opportunity to think about what could happen differently and what would be different if this experience was to happen today. We refer to SMBC during this experience. SMBC stands for Samwell Metropolitan Borough Council and describes housing provided by Samwell Council. July 2013 is the first contact that is recorded in Elizabeth's chronology and was made by SMBC Housing. It identified that amongst other things, Elizabeth's mum was struggling with her caring responsibilities. In January 2014, during a routine health check, Elizabeth disclosed to her healthcare professional that she had posted a rude, naked picture of herself on her social media page, influenced by her boyfriend. A referral was made to the police and a vulnerable adult non-crime report was generated. Elizabeth was helped by the learning disability nurse to remove the picture. Jumping ahead to 2017, this section represents contact with the family that took place over a 13 month period with adult social care between April 2017 and May 2018. It was initiated by the GP after Elizabeth's mum raised concerns about Elizabeth's physical health. Elizabeth is described as using a wheelchair because she can't walk long distances, having poorly controlled type 1 diabetes, not managing her continence well and in need of support during the night. There were formal assessments undertaken including a carer's assessment for Elizabeth's dad. The outcome of the assessment for Elizabeth was a day service placement being offered but not taken up. Support to reinstate Elizabeth's PIP payments, which had been stopped, was also recorded. As a result of Elizabeth not wanting any other support, the case was closed. The following incident happened before Elizabeth had her PIP reinstated. Elizabeth told her mum that she would end her life because her PIP payments had been stopped. Her mum rang the GP in a distressed state and they told her to call the police. A 999 call was received by ambulance control and both the police and ambulance service attended the property. Police closed the log as the ambulance service were dealing with the situation. The outcome was a referral from Health to Psychiatric Liaison Services. Adult social care supported the reinstatement of the POP payments. Take a moment to think about what you notice about this family's experience so far. It is now August 2017. SMBC Housing continue to visit the property, both announced and unannounced, but no details are provided. In April 2018, SMBC open an untidy property case. They have found the kitchen and living room are in unacceptable state and work needs to be carried out for which they cannot gain access because of the state of the house. They also note that Elizabeth's mum needs time because she is grieving the loss of her mother. We can see that between April 2017 and May 2018, adult social care, health, housing and emergency services all had contact with either the family or Elizabeth directly. Over the following months during 2018, rapport is being built with the family. It seems that progress is being made. A skip is delivered and collected. Things seem to be going well. However, in October, things seem to deteriorate again. Elizabeth is seen by the GP and talks about how she has been in a low mood since her nan died. At the same time, the family prevent SMBC housing from accessing the property. The family are told that they are in breach of their tenancy agreement if they don't allow access to the property. SMBC housing continue to be unsuccessful in gaining access to the house with both announced and unannounced visits. These visits took place over a period of approximately six months. In 
In April 2019, SMBC Housing was contacted by Elizabeth's mum who wanted to know why there have been so many visits being made. An arrangement was made for a home visit to talk about the repairs that were needed at the property. Around the same time, at a routine health appointment with a diabetes clinician at the GP practice, an incident occurred in the waiting room which resulted in Elizabeth scratching her mum's face. It was established that Elizabeth had not been taking her antidepressants for two weeks and had been in a low mood since her nan died. She had also become upset about being called fat on Facebook. The outcome was for a referral to be made to a mental health team, adult social care safeguarding team and also a referral to adult social care for day service provision and a referral to healthy homes. In May 2019, a worker from SMBC Housing was successful in gaining access and found that there had not been much change at the property. They also identified a severe fire hazard with clutter blocking access on the stairs. Around the same time, there is a record of Elizabeth phoning 999 to complain of a speeding car outside the house. It was also noted that she appeared to be drunk. June 2019, the family received a warning letter from SMBC Housing about their tenancy which upset the family. Adult Social Care closed the file regarding day service provision as contact had not been made. SMBC were able to make a home visit but no notes were recorded. In October 2019, Elizabeth left a message with Adult Social Care to ask about day opportunities but the attempts to get back in touch with her were unsuccessful so the case was closed. No further contact with the family is recorded until five months later when SMBC records a second skip being delivered to the property. Covid restrictions have been applied. Photographic evidence of the work being done to clear the kitchen has been requested, but nothing received. The volume of phone calls is being received and is upsetting the family. In July 2020, with calls from SMBC Housing continuing to go unanswered, a visit is made to outside of the property where a skip has been filled with garden rubbish. Covid restrictions continue and SMBC records that visits will start again once they are lifted. Between September 2019 and July 2021, there are records of routine healthcare appointments being kept. In July 2021, West Midlands Police were informed of a house fire at the family's home address at 4.44am. The cause was an electrical fault with the fire in the living room. The parents suffered smoke and burn injuries. Elizabeth died. Take a moment to think about whether this outcome could have been prevented. These are some of the learning points that have emerged from Elizabeth's story. The tragic loss of Elizabeth's life is awful. The relationship that statutory agents had with this family is shattered. We have a responsibility to learn from Elizabeth's experience to avoid another loss of a vulnerable person and the impact that this has had on her family. If you would like to explore this case in more detail and consider the learning that could inform your practice, there is a learning module being developed. See the information below about how to access this.